dear students in this session we will learn the ffp of a signal using a matlab semilink if you see the logic here we have to take a continuous signal the continuous time signal x of t that signal we have to apply to sampling the sampled signal will be stored in the buffer that signal we have to give it to fft the fast fourier transform then we have to multiply with the gain and if you see the result of this fft it has both real and imaginary component so we have to find the absolute so using the vector score we can able to see the simulation result so first we have to sample x of t x of t will be converted to x of n the continuous time signal is converted to discrete and convert the time domain signal to frequency domain signal with the help of fft model to take an example x of t as a into sin 2 pi into 10 power 4t first we have to do the sampling if you do the sampling we will be getting x of n is equal to x of t at t is equal to n t and t is the sampling time 1 into 10 power minus 5 and x of n is 8 sin 2 pi 10 power 4 into n t the t is replaced with n t in the next step you are going to take this t the sampling time is equal to 1 by the sampling frequency so we will get here the frequency as 1 into 10 power 5 into 9 so now this is the signal we are giving as the input to the fft model so now x of n is equal to 8 sin 2 pi n by 10 into we have to multiply and divide by 10 so when you are multiplying and divide by 10 in the denominator we will be getting 100 sin 2 pi n into 10 this x of n is the time domain signal that signal we have to give as the input to the fft so we have to find what is the dft of this signal so we know that dft of a sin 2 pi n into k not is a by 2j del of k minus k not minus del of k plus k not and if you see in this expression k not is nothing but here 10 so we can able to write the dft of sin of 2 pi by 100 n into 10 is nothing but a a is nothing but the amplitude 8 by 2j in the formula here we have 2j into del of k minus k not here k not is 10 so del of k minus 10 minus del of k plus 10 so this implementation we are going to study with the help of fft model so this is the fft model using matlab semilink first we have to choose the sine wave as the input it's a continuous time signal then we have to give it to the zero order rule this is nothing but sampling the next we have to store it in the buffer for that we have to assign the buffer size that output we have to give it to the fft then we have to multiply with the gain and find the absolute and plot in the vector scope we will see the simulation using matlab first we have to go to simulink it will take some time for loading then we have to go to the blank model so you can able to see empty blank model yeah this is the empty blank model so we have to go to the library simulink library we have to type sine wave in the search blank you can able to see the sine wave block drag the sine wave block to the model window or we can do right click add the block to the untitled just drag and drop it so we have to go with the next block go to the library and search for a zero order 
the search for zero order. So drag and drop in the empty block, empty model. So the next block is buffer. So go to Simulink library. So go to buffer. You can able to see the buffer here. So right click, add the block to the model untitled. So next we have to go with FFT. So go to the library, type FFT. Add the block to the model untitled. So the next block is gain. So go to Simulink library, type gain. You can able to see the gain block. Add the block to the model untitled. So next we have to go with ABS. This ABS is the mathematical operation. Add the block to the model and title. The next we have to go with vector scope. We have to go with vector scope. Vector scope. Add block to the model untitled. So now we have to use the wire. Just give the connection from one block to another block. After giving the connection, double click each block. We have to do the parameter setting here. For the sine wave block, we are going to modify the amplitude, the frequency. Here the frequency is two star, pi star, thousand. That thousand we can write as one e three. One e three e is nothing but power. One into ten power three. Just we have to give apply. Okay. In zero order rule, we have to choose the sampling time. We are going to take the sampling time as one e power minus five. Apply. Okay. In buffers, we have to choose the buffer size. We are going with 1024. Apply. Okay. Then we have to go with FFT, but in FFT, we are not doing any parameter changes. So we are going with gain. Double click the gain. We have to choose the gain value. So for that we have to see what is the buffer size we given. And there the buffer size is 1024. So the gain is 1 by 1024. Just apply. Give OK. And next one. It's an absolute. The next one is the vector scope. And here we have to do we have to go to the scope property and select the domain as a frequency and go to the axis property and choose the frequency here minus fs by 2 to fs by 2 and y axis scaling 
the y-axis scaling choose as magnitude select the magnitude just we have to give apply and okay and here the signal frequency we have taken here is 1e3 so first we will analyze with 1e3 then we will take 10 into 10 power 3 First, we have to save the file. So when you are saving the file, we have to start with a character. The file name should be the character. If you try to give a number, you can able to see get some error. So go with some name. You have to give save. And keep the simulation time as 10.0. Just run the program. Run the model. So this is the output you will get for 1 into 10 power 3. So it's nothing but 1k. We'll be getting the output exactly at minus 1 and 1. And here we will get the amplitude it's nothing but a by 2 a by 2 your a is 8 8 by 2 is equal to 4 so you will get the value very close to 4 so now this we have analyzed for 1k now we are going to see what will happen if you change the frequency to 10k so 10k how to represent 10 e 3 e 3 is nothing but 10 power 3. Just we have to close this. Now you go to the sine wave and set the frequency to be 2 pi 10 E3. Apply. Okay. Run the program. Now you can able to see the output at minus 10 and plus 10. So that is what we got in the calculation. Minus 10, del of k minus k0 and del of k plus k0. So this point is del of k minus k0 and this point is del of k plus k0. In that point, what is the amplitude? Here it is 8 by 2 which is equal to 4. So now you can able to close this scope. So these are the possible viva questions. Define MATLAB, define Simulink, YDFT, YFFT, state sampling theory. Thank you all.